Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're doing a side-by-side -side size comparison between the two flagships of their respective OSs. On the left side, we have the iPad Air 2, and on the right side, we have the Nexus 9. Now, we are comparing the Nexus 9 to both the iPad Mini 2 and the iPad Air 2, simply because, in terms of size, it's right in the middle. And with these two, uh, we have a 9.7 inch screen going up against an 8.9 inch screen. So today we're just comparing size, and of course we will go into more in-depth on other videos. But right here we just wanted to see the size difference. So in terms of the height and width, the iPad Air 2 is definitely going to be the wider between the two and the taller between the two. And uh, this definitely shows, obviously, because of the bigger screen. You almost have uh, about point, point 0.8 more inches, uh, so almost another inch, basically, of screen size between these two. However, in terms of the thinness aspect, of course, this is where the iPad Air 2 is going to be a lot, lot thinner. Uh, the iPad Air 2 is definitely thinner between uh, this one and the Nexus. So between these two, the iPad Air will be much thinner. However, it's going to be a lot taller and wider for less uh, one-handed use compared to the Nexus, which is easier to use with one hand. So overall, what is something else you should take a look at? Well, these are both a four by three ratio tablet. What that means is typically you are going to hold these tablet in portrait. Uh, you can hold it in landscape, but it's not really designed for that. A four by three ratio is designed for mostly portrait and looking at old photos. New photos nowadays are taken at 16 by nine ratio, which is the same ratio that most other tablets are on Android, as well as the ratio that TVs and laptops are. For these tablets, you're mainly going to hold them in portrait, although you can hold them in landscape and they'll do just fine, of course. They're meant to generally be uh, used in portrait for the most part. That's just the design for the tablet. So you want to keep that in mind when, if you want to be able to hold it one-handed of all times or if you want to be able to hold it with two hands and which you prefer in terms of not only size, but in terms of screen size, size, and the way you hold it. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below, and make sure to check out all of the upcoming videos that will be for these two devices, and just to see how they compare in every other category, and how other tablets at these price points compare to them. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.